SketchCast is an awesome tool that allows you to essentially draw on a blank screen or canvas while recording your voice. Think of the ways you can use this to illustrate a concept and share on your website for your students to use. Your students can also use this to explain their understanding of a concept. All you will need is a microphone and a computer with internet access. Let's walk through the steps together. The first thing that you will need to do is create an account. On the main page you will just click to register and fill in an email address, username, and password. I have already logged in. This screen shows you some sketchcasts by others. The main thing that you need to know is the links up here at the top. Create is where you go to create your own sketchcast. You can click on Explore to explore others that are listed in the website. It shows you over here some that are top viewed. You can also choose categories to look at sketch casts by others. I can click on my channel and this shows the sketch cast that I have created. I can also click on my account and when I do that I can see my information over here. I can change my password or my email address. I also have a public channel here so I could give others this website URL and they can go directly to see all the sketchcasts I have created. In addition, the sketchcasts I've created are over here. I can click to show it, I can edit it or delete it. What we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and create one. So I'm going to click on the create button and here is what our sketchcast looks like. So let's look at the interface. Our white drawing canvas is right here in the center and it gives us the basic steps. Record, preview, and publish. Over here on the right I have to click and put in a title. I'm just going to call this Practice. I'm going to tell it that I am going to use my voice. You can create a sketch cast without voice if you want, but it's definitely more effective with voice. It's going to ask me if they allow me to use the microphone. Say yes, allow. And then I'm going to pick a category. Tutorial, fun, art, or other. I'm going to put this one under other and now I'm ready to start recording. I have only three tools that I need to use. The eraser, the pen color tool, and the text tool because I can actually type on my page as well. When I click on the color tool it's going to give me a rainbow of colors here. I can choose one to begin with. I can choose blue. The other thing you may notice is the line thickness. Right now it's set on kind of a medium point line. I'm going to leave it there. Okay. And we're ready to begin. So I'm just going to click Start Recording Draft. And it's all ready for me to begin. So here's my sketch cast. And I'll just write the word sketch. I can go down here and change the color by clicking and choosing any other color that I wish. The other way that I can change colors is to click on my spacebar key and now I can write. I can change colors again and I can even choose my text tool. to type something. When I'm finished recording, I click on pause recording and I can either start over or I can publish from here. I'm going to go ahead and publish and it's going to say your sketch cast will be made public. I'm going to click OK. Alright, my sketch cask automatically starts playing. I can change my volume. I have some menu options here as well. I can embed by hitting copy to embed this code. I can copy the URL here 
to send in an email, I can visit or create my own sketch cast, which I've already done. I'm going to close this out. I can also choose to embed my sketch cast by choosing this option right here. If I want it to automatically begin playing when a user visits my website, I can click Auto Play On. If I don't want it to automatically play, want them to have to click the play button, I would click Auto Play Off, and I can copy and paste this code here. I can also email my Sketchcast by clicking here and entering in my name, my friend's name, and my friend's email address and clicking on Send. I can also rate a Sketchcast that I'm watching by clicking on the number of stars. So I'm going to go over here to my channel to see the Sketchcast that I have created. And that's all there is to it. I hope that you have found Sketchcast to be a fun way to express yourself, a fun tool to use in the classroom.